before we get started with the video, before we get started with the video, I just want to mention that this video could have made been made a little bit better, but it is what it is. I at least got done what I wanted to get done. At least it works, as I as you can see later on in the video when you start watching it. But yeah, I just want to thank you all for the support, watching all the videos and all that. I made this video probably like a couple months ago, so you know it is a little bit of old footage that I made a while ago. But it is what it is. But you know, just leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to the video. Back to the channel welcome back to an install nate west here with another video today we're going to be installing or actually wiring some turn signals on the side mirror as you can see i have it currently wired on this side and only this side i didn't do this side yet i see this one is not blinking because this one's not wired up and as you can see i do have the hazards on for both sides obviously like i said this side's not on so i'm going to show you how to wire these up this is a sport model this is not a 2.0 sport this is just a regular sport but this will work on your lx trim your sport trim your 2.0 sport trim your ex whatever trim you have if it doesn't have these side mirrors from factory then i will show you how to wire these up so yeah I'm gonna show you what you need first. This is exactly what you're gonna need. And you're gonna need some T-taps. You're gonna need some crimp connectors to like crimp them to the wire. You're gonna need some wire cutters, splitters, this one or the automatic one. You're gonna need a circuit tester so you can find the wire that is the turn signal. You're obviously gonna need some gauge wire. So you're gonna need positive gauge wire, negative, obviously black is negative. This is positive, so you guys can tell the difference. And electrical tape. So let's go head over to the driver's uh, driver side. We're gonna go on the passenger side and take it apart. But first, we're actually gonna find the circuit, exactly which wire is the turn signal. So let's go do that first. So we're gonna come here to the wiring loom on the driver side. Everything is on the driver side. So yes, you're gonna have to route the wire from the passenger side behind this carpeting back here to here. So we're gonna look for the circuit, which I, if I'm not mistaken, it is a brown wire. To show you how the circuit goes, I already, I already put the car in accessory. So I'm gonna put on the turn signal for the driver's side just to show you how this tester works. So obviously I already wired this up. So I put on the driver's side turn signal. And if I put this on here, as you can see the tester, it's blinking, which means it's from power or the source to the turn signal. So basically this has a sharp edge. You're just gonna press it onto here. When you find the right one, so I'm gonna put it on the passenger side turn signal. I'm just gonna pull out all the wires, which if I was, mis if I was not mistaken, it was definitely a brown one. So I'm just gonna take your tester and you're gonna pinch it in. Remember this thing is sharp, so you're just gonna have to be careful when you do that until like it punches through. So, trying to do that. Looks like I found the exact one as you can see the tester. The tester is blinking, so it's this wire. So this exact wire is passenger side turn signal. So now that we found the turn signal, we're gonna make this wire stand out so I'm actually gonna grab a t-tap I'm actually gonna t-tap it on here so let me do that so now we're on the passenger door this will actually be the same on the driver's side just the only difference is when you pull this out from the driver's side there's gonna be two plugs there's gonna be two plugs here instead of one. So you're gonna have a plug here and a plug up here on your driver's side, on the passenger side, it's just this. So we're just gonna 
simply just press this and pull it out. And you can put this to the side. We're gonna grab our screwdriver. I'm gonna use a drill and we're gonna take out this one screw. After that screw is off, you will take a pry tool and pry through along this. But what I do, I just pull. So I just go, this is all I do. And then after you get this off, you could just set this to the side. So from here, we're gonna actually gonna get to our harness for the mirror. Obviously, if you have a lower trim, you're actually, you actually won't have this um, connection right here. I bought this connection off a of Honda themselves. This is a 2.0 door harness. Um, you could buy the you could buy the door harness off a of Honda. This is a 2.0 one. You could install it onto your car. If not, if you buy the mirror, you can depin it, which I'm gonna show you how to depin these because I'm actually gonna put these back in and depin it just to show you how I depinned it. But you could depin it and then depin your original mirror. Make sure you take pictures and then just put everything back in its place and then everything should work as long as you find the wiring diagram online. But you're gonna depin these, so I'm actually gonna put these back in here and I'm gonna show you how I depin. I'm only gonna depin one. I put this just the power wire in, so I just put this back in. So to depin it, you're gonna actually get one of these. I got this with my trim tool set. I'll see if I can find these online. I forgot to mention you're gonna need these, but I'm gonna try to see if I can just find these individually and link it. If not, I'm gonna link my whole trim tool set that I got because this came in the trim tool set. But the way you, you would depend this is you will stick this in here and then you will stick it in all the way until it goes deep into it. I should put it in backwards. You're gonna make sure this angle side is facing this way. And the deeper you get, as you see, I put it all the way through. So if you get this all the way in, you wiggle. Left and right, you pull out with this, and then this should come out. So actually, I'm gonna take off this tweeter. So, yeah, I'm gonna take this tweeter off and then take off the mirror. All right, guys, so I'm gonna T-tap the wire into each other. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna T-tap it in. So, we're gonna go inside, T-tap this together, and then we're gonna come back to the car after that. All right, guys, so we chopped off the pin right here. So now we're just gonna cut the wire or the loom. Get the wire up, or I suppose a copper wire. As you guys can see, I freed up the wire. So now I'm gonna take some of my T-taps here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crimp this end onto here. So first I'm gonna actually, I think I'm gonna free up a little bit more wire before I do that. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so we freed up some wire. I'm just twisting it together. I'm gonna bend this over a little bit and make a shape, like the hook shape. Now I twisted that, we're gonna put this in here and we're just gonna crimp this. As you guys can see, we got this connected and it's not moving. So now that this is done, we're gonna do the same thing for the purple one. So I kind of realized that I forgot to mention to you guys that the two wires, so I wanna make this super clear. The two wires you're gonna need is this purple wire, which is, this is the ground wire. And this pink wire, this is the wire that has all the power to it. So just make sure when you deep in it, look for the purple one and the pink one. They're the only two purple and pink in here. So just to let y'all know, pink, purple. One thing I wanna make sure, make sure you crimp this, make sure you crimp it like this. Make sure this doesn't turn like that. Make sure it's straight like this. Make sure that this side is flat 
and then you crimp it because if you do not crimp it that way, then it's going to make a fail connection because in here, you can't really see it back right now. You can see it. That little slit right there has to close, like it's a circle like that, it has to close like this onto the wire. So when you crimp it, make sure you crimp it like this. Crimp it like that. Don't crimp it like this because you're going to mess up the connection if you do it like that. back so I actually had to solder a new wire on it because this ended up falling out of the crimp connector so now I got it soldered on now we're gonna crimp this wire on and I did I did test it and it still works so we're just gonna crimp this together solid connection so you're probably if you're wondering why we are t-tapping these instead of just you know putting a wire on soldering it and putting the wire together the reason why we're t-tapping these so for whatever reason like let's say you get an accident and you have to get your mirror removed like the mirror isn't damaged but you know the door is damaged and you have to remove the mirror and replace the door well this makes it easier to you know take it out of the car so you're not sitting there then you have to cut the new wire or cut the wire that's on there and then you know re-solder or whatever you don't have to do all that you just easily just pop it off you take everything off pop it on put everything back together and simple as that like it's kind of like plug and play so now we're gonna grab our other gauge wire and i'm gonna show you what to do with that all right so we're back on the vehicle so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready to route the red wire to get on the driver's side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the speaker right here, because we're gonna wire it into this loom right here in between the door so there's no wires hanging. So we're gonna take off the speaker. So we got the speaker off, obviously here's the wiring. So we're gonna unplug the door from here. So in order to do that, this is actually taken off this, just like the driver's side, which I didn't show you. So if you didn't see the driver's side, this is exactly the same exact steps. You're just gonna pull from here and lift up. As you can see, these are held on by clips. You just pull up and then from here, Put your hand somewhere over here and you just push out words. And as you can see, this comes out. So take note before you put this back in, make sure you take this out, put it in because this goes above it. And then when you put this back in, make sure you put this down first because this goes above this. So once you get there, you're gonna snake your hand up here, which is gonna be difficult to record but you're gonna snake your hand until you find the hole and then you're gonna unplug the door harness which I just did now if you look right here pull it down here is the connector for the door so I unplugged it now what we're gonna do we're gonna take this out so we're gonna start from here we're gonna push in and push this into the door now this is free, you see I can stick my hand in here. And now we gotta do the same thing here, but this one's a little bit tricky because there's like a plastic clip that's in here. So this is the only tricky part. So I'm gonna try my best to record as much as I can. So, so I got it out. This is really difficult to take out. I am not gonna lie, this is so difficult, but you're also gonna have to declip it. So you're gonna use a tool and you're gonna pull it forward out and pretty much yeah. so now we're gonna take this through the door and I'm clipping from here it's clipping all right 
So now that we got that out, we're gonna take our red wire. We're actually gonna extend it. So please hold that. We're gonna take out a long thing of it. Now that we have our red wire, we're gonna route this to the driver's side of the car and then cut off the unnecessary amount. So this, you're actually gonna need something to snake through this. I'm gonna use this metal wire hanger because this is super difficult to just slide the wire through. It's difficult. So if you can find something, use it. If it makes it easier, just use it. So I'm gonna tangle this around, tie this up. first snake this through here like I said you want this hidden or you don't want any wire showing and we're gonna slide this through this through all right so now that you got all this through now that this is all through you're gonna untangle this so now that we got the wire here we're gonna put it through here so to let you know it is gonna be difficult to get this into here because there's a little narrow spot putting this through here is not easy so what you're gonna do is you first you're gonna put this through here first wire first so let's go back through the door hole left up so make sure you, you orient it the right way so right is up and left is up hey me here so i just wanted to explain what i meant by right up and left up so i don't know what the hell i was doing here but what i meant was since we're doing the right side make sure the right arrow is facing up because this is the right side of the car and if you put it in backwards then the plug is going to be in backwards and it's going to be hard to plug it in later on so just make sure whatever side you're working on make sure that you have that oriented the right way so if you're working on the left side make sure the left is up and if you're working on the right side make sure the right is up the right side so make sure the right side is up Now we're gonna put this in. So these have little grooves right here, the groove here and a groove here. You just gotta make sure you match it up with this because if you have this the wrong way, the grooves won't go in. So you see the grooves right here. So make sure you snake this one first. Now comes the hard part. So you're gonna try to snake it up like this and sneak it in. First, we're gonna wire it through, just so I'm not looking for it later. Here's the wire. So now, put this in. So, we actually pull some of it through. Oh my God, that's stuck in here. So now, for the difficult part, you're gonna lift this up. Actually, you're gonna pull this out through the bottom half. You're gonna make the bottom half come through. So now you got both halves through. Should make it a little bit easier to wiggle this in. So you're gonna, this is gonna really be difficult. So you're gonna turn it and push in. Kinda looks a little easier right now, huh? <laughs> now the wires getting there we go. So yeah, I got it through. So this should just clip into place. After that, what we're gonna do is put this back in. So what we're gonna do is put this back in here. So this, this right here, it just pushes in. Just gotta line it up. Once you line it up, you will like feel the grooves going in for the water seal tight. So now it's just tight, water seal, it will come out as you can see. 
And we have our wiring, so we're just gonna pull our wiring through. As you can see. This part is gonna be a little tedious, but you're just gonna wire this behind the carpeting through here. So I actually may have to take this off. I think this part just pulls down if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so these are, my bad. These are held on by clips, so you could just pull them down and get these out of your way. Yeah, that's my brother. And once you get this out the way, you should start to see the other side from here. So you're just gonna route the wires through back here to the driver's side, and we're gonna do the connections and get everything working. So let me do that. Make sure you guys plug this in too. If you just plug this back in, this is gonna be difficult because you can't see, but you know, just feel. And then once you feel the connector, just plug it in. All right guys, so I didn't record this part, but I routed the wire through here. You can see I, I went, I made it go behind the brake pedal, behind the steering rack, and it's going through here. I'm probably gonna relocate this later because I don't like the positioning, especially with the steering wheel rack. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna leave it here. All right, so obviously you don't wanna get these confused. So you should just label these. So you should put like black electrical tape on whatever side it is going to be Reserve side, so I'm gonna obviously electrical tape these ends on both of them, but I'm gonna put black electrical tape on just this blue connector just to let me know that this is the left side, and I'm gonna put like electrical tape somewhere past the point. So I'm gonna put two pieces of electrical tape on this side just so I know that this plug is for the right side. But now that we're over here, we're gonna just find the correct length and then. After we get the correct length, we're gonna cut. We're gonna put our connector right here, put it here, and then for that, we're gonna put the mirror onto the door. So let's do this first. All right, so I'm gonna cut off right here. I'm gonna give me a little extra slack. So this is extra wire, which I can use for something else. So save that. So we're gonna take our electrical tape and we're gonna mark our one. So this is the driver's side. gonna have electrical tape right here. For the passenger side, when I walk, we'll get this done, I'm gonna put electrical tape on this connector and electrical tape here. So it's just like this driver's side and I'm gonna put like two more on here just so I can just, um, know the difference between the two, so. all connected now we're gonna go on to the passenger side and get the mirror all wired up I'm gonna put in our passenger side mirror or the mirror whatever side you're working on just a note make sure you thread these in with hand first before you use a drill on these because if you try to put the drill if you try to put the nut on the drill and drill it in you're gonna strip it so don't do it because I stripped the other side on one of them now that that's all done this is only the driver's side so I'm gonna just driver's side. This is the passenger side. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna plug this in. 
so just for this wire only since this is power we're gonna cut it to length we're gonna cut it to length so i'm probably gonna let me see what i want to do we're gonna cut it right here now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna loop this and then just tap it in right here with this so obviously it's a quick disconnect because now when you need to remove it you can remove it in here this is actually hard to put on because this is big and this is small so you're gonna need some huge or huge you're gonna need some pliers some strong pliers so I'll get back to you when I, when I get this all clamped down. All right, so I got this all tapped in. So I'm just gonna route this back here. So now I'm gonna plug this in. So I'm gonna do a quick test. So I'm gonna use these leads right here. So I'm gonna put one end in here. And we're gonna ground the other one to a bolt over here or something. And then we're gonna do a torque turn signal or, or hazards and see if it works. Which as you can see, it works. So now we're gonna go and ground the black wire and get that done. So as you guys can see, I did the same thing here. So I'm obviously gonna hide the wires back here on this. So I actually do not have any more of the ring terminals. So I actually don't have enough any more of the ring terminals because I'm gonna ground it to this bolt right here ground it to this bolt right here. So what I'm gonna do just for now until I go buy the ring terminals and then I'm gonna put the ring terminal on is I'm gonna splice it like right here. And then I'm gonna cut the wire out. This is my wire so and I'm gonna loosen this a little bit. Wrap it around this and just screw this down. Like I said, I'm not gonna leave it like that. This is just for show. I'm gonna pretty much fix it off camera. I'm gonna put a ring terminal. I'm probably gonna include it when I get the ring terminal, but let's now test it. And as you guys can see, now this side is working. Obviously these are not as bright during the day. Obviously you'll see them at night, but they're still not as bright as I would like them to be. And I also forgot to tell you, these are eBay mirrors. So I can't just um, get the little sequential ones and just put them in here because the way they wired these up is kind of stupid the way I, if you've seen the inside of these, these are kind of dumb. So I'm gonna get the OEM Honda mirrors and then obviously with the plug and play way I did, I could now unplug this, take this out, put the new one in with no hassle. All I have to do is just add new terminals on the new one. But as you can see, that side works. And obviously this side is working. So I am probably gonna see if I can get some good shots during the day, even though knowing it's not as bright during the day from far away. You can notice it, but they're not that bright. But at night, I'm gonna definitely give you some night shots. So I'm gonna put the interior back together and give you a little bit more shots.
that'll be it for the installation of the side mirrors as i said before the b-roll i am going to exchange these for oem mirrors and i want to redo this video anyway because i felt like i could have done it a little bit better so look out in the future for that when i get the oem mirrors i'm gonna definitely redo these and we're gonna do more mods to it and yeah that'll be pretty much it subscribe to the channel share like comment subscribe and that'll be it i'll see you on the next video and here's a little sneak peek of what's gonna come yep that's all you're getting and yeah catch y'all